homemade energy bar video one of the most loved and one of the most criticized video on my channel and that was my fault because I done a couple of mistakes yeah, when I was making the first video so now I'm gonna make the second video yeah and uh, I will try to fix all my mistakes which I done in my first video one of the biggest mistakes yeah which I done uh, when I was making first video it was that I didn't show any amount of the ingredients which I was using so I'm gonna fix this mistake in this video and I will show you every single detail what I'm doing now and uh, first thing I'm gonna start from the ingredients which I'm gonna use today so what I'm gonna use I'm gonna change a little bit because this first video and uh, the first video and this video it's experiment yeah I'm experimenting and listen this channel is not a cooking channel yeah so I'm not a professional like kitchen chef yeah and everything what I'm doing I'm just doing random yeah just I'm using random ingredients and uh, and uh, the way I'm cooking yeah usually in my normal life yeah I'm just a bam bam boom done that's it yeah so I'm not checking that how much I must to put this or that you know like I'm just a boom 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 that's it done it's good for me yeah but uh, how much I understand from the uh, all the comments on my first video that it's kind of wrong yeah, and the people actually want to know yeah every single ingredient every single amount and so, so yeah so this is what I'm gonna do so what I'm gonna use today I'm gonna use a fruit muesli yeah fruit muesli and uh, it's a mix uh, of dried fruit with the wheat oat and the barley flake yeah this is what I'm gonna use yeah so and the amount of it it's a 500 it's a 500 500 grams if it's gonna be not enough this 500 grams yeah I have emergency yeah emergency yeah box with the uh, with the, just a traditional porridge oh so if I will need it I will use a little bit of, of this out as well but how much I'm gonna use it I'm gonna I'm gonna give you all the numbers all the details because I borrow some a uh, couple of things from uh, Mrs. Straightshot because Mrs. Straightshot she's amazing in the kitchen, and so I borrow a kitchen scale. Yeah, so I borrow kitchen scale and uh, everything what I'm gonna use I'm gonna put on the scales and I'm gonna show it to you. So I'm gonna try to be as much as possible more precise with the amount yeah what I'm gonna use. So. I'm gonna use a peanut butter, but uh, today I'm gonna use a crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, not the smooth, but the crunchy, because I want more of uh, more flavor of the actual uh, peanut. Yeah, so that's why I'm gonna use a crunchy one. I'm gonna use a honey. Yeah, I'm gonna use the honey. And again, yeah. Uh, also, sorry. Uh, the amount, yeah, of the peanut butter is 340. 40 grams and I'm gonna use honey honey is same is 340 grams uh, another mistake yeah which I done when I was making the first video yeah it was that I actually put the honey in the microwave and the people just boom they exploded like no you shouldn't be putting the honey in the microwave and I said you know what whoa 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 yeah you know what people I'm listening to you yeah are reading the comments yeah and you know what if it's wrong it's wrong we're not using a uh, microwave today yeah nobody likes microwave anyway so then I have uh, two packs with the with the mix this is trail mix yeah so basically it's a nut raisin and uh, and the dried banana and some other fruits it's a two, 200 grams 200 grams and also I have another one it's a uh, fruit nut and cranberry yeah mixture and it's 150 grams yeah I'm not sure or I'm gonna use uh, all this stuff and that's why I said that you know everything I'm gonna use I'm gonna put on a on a on a scale yeah and I will show you how much I'm using like example uh, chocolate yeah this is dark chocolate this is 100 percent dark chocolate yeah uh, I'm definitely this is a 100 grams I'm not gonna use 100 grams because 100% uh, uh, dark chocolate uh, it's the flavor it's way too bitter for me yeah so no this is not what I want I probably I'm gonna use half so I'm gonna use about maybe 50 50 grams of this chocolate and it's again 
Thank you very much to Mrs. Treachard because she actually borrowed me, borrowed <laughs> this chocolate. And also I will show you uh, what kind of tools I'm gonna use. So first thing, the main thing, yeah, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this plastic bowl, yeah. This is what I need. Also, I'm gonna use this uh, small bowl. It's for the scale, yeah, to check everything. And I'm gonna use this kitchen hammer the little kitchen hammer thanks to my missus again she and I will use uh, a sandwich bag maybe one also I will need um, the baking paper and I'm gonna use uh, a baking tray I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet. it depends on the amount of how much the actual stuff I'm gonna have so I'm gonna pick one of the baking tray. So it's enough to talk and uh, let's begin. And because I'm really very curious what kind of result I'm gonna get at the end of this video, you probably as well. And the first thing what we're gonna use, we're gonna use a fruit muesli, yeah? And uh, we're gonna grab our big bowl and we're just gonna check Mostly, I'm gonna use a whole 500 grams. 500 grams. That's quite a lot. Yeah, that looks nice and tasty. Wow, look how much fruits. Yo, that is a lot of dry fruits dry banana raisins wow that looks very nice i like it and the second ingredient yeah i'm gonna use a pure honey yeah and that's a 340 grams and i'm just gonna check all this honey into the bowl oh that looks so nice so nice and delicious golden color honey oh that's very nice and of course a peanut butter yeah peanut butter we're gonna use 340 grams i'm gonna put all this delicious crunchy peanut butter Wow, that looks tasty. So what do we have now? We have our, our fruit muesli, we have honey, and we have a peanut butter. So what I'm gonna do, yeah? I'm gonna try to mix it now, and uh, because I wanna check uh, the consistency, the, what kind of consistency we have, and do I need to add uh, more oats, or do I need to add more, more, more peanut, more dry fruits we will see so now I want to mix it so this is what we have now I would say that this is a perfect perfect consistency and I don't think so that I will add any more oats yeah this is what I want but I want more peanuts yeah because in a in a muslim it was more it's a dry fruit yeah i want more peanuts so what i'm gonna i'm gonna use one of these packs yeah with the with the with the peanuts so i would say that probably i'm gonna use um, this fruit nut and cranberry pack yeah and now i will show you what i'm gonna do because i don't want uh, i would say that all these they are too big these chunks yeah i don't want them in a in my energy bars yeah so but also i don't want them to use like a like a blender or grinder yeah to make like a powder because i don't want a powder so, so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take the nut and the fruit yeah i'm gonna put in the in the sandwich bag so i have 
all this stuff now in a sandwich bag. Yep. So I'm gonna put on the table. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use a kitchen hammer. Don't use the the metal side. Use just the wooden side. Yeah. And just slowly, gently. Yeah. Don't use too much force. Yeah. Just use a little bit and just smash these nuts. <laughs> So this is what I have in the bag. So now I will check all these fruits and uh, and the peanuts into the bowl and again hard and long mixing process. And now the last but not least it's a uh, dark chocolate yeah and I have I already said it's 100% so that is way too much for me so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use only half I'm gonna use only half so half that means 50 gram this is 50 gram of 100% dark chocolate you don't need to use 100% you can use 70% or any dark chocolate but use dark dark chocolate because uh, I would say the dark chocolate it gives better flavor also I'm gonna use uh, this thing it's again thank you to mrs. Rachel she borrowed me all these things so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna again slowly slowly the dark chocolate is all in the bowl but I used only half so I use only 25 grams of 100% dark chocolate. You don't need uh, 50, 50 grams because 50 grams weigh too much. So now I'm gonna mix the dark chocolate with all the other stuff and uh, it's gonna be ready to go to the tray baking tray that looks so good and delicious I would say that uh, this recipe is better than the first one because of the consistency look this is what I like I like when it's not too soft yeah it's not like a powder but it's a uh, it's a really nice and perfect consistent. Let me try it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mmm. Honey, peanut butter, and chocolate. Wow. Wow, that's crazy good. That is crazy good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put on a tray. I'm gonna use this small tray. So the tray and uh, baking paper is ready. So now we're gonna check all this stuff into the tray. And now I'm gonna spread it equally to the home whole tray because later yeah you will have to you will have to cut it yeah so what's gonna happen now so I'm gonna spread it yeah in the tray then I'm gonna put in the freezer yeah I'm gonna put in the freezer for about half an hour yeah then I'm gonna take it out from the freezer and I'm gonna cut it yeah in a, in a in a in a smaller pieces and then i will put in a in a in a small like a sandwich bag yeah and i'm gonna put in the fridge this is the best tool to do it look up oh, how easy
and this is what it looked like before I will put in the freezer so after half an hour in the freezer I took it out and um, so the reason why I put in the freezer for half an hour is because I want yeah these energy bars to get harder yeah it's not that I'm trying to freeze them I want these energy bars to get harder that I could cut them in the small pieces and this is what I'm gonna do now so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna cut in a small pieces and then I'm gonna put in a in a sandwich bag yeah I'm gonna put usually I'm putting every single piece separate yeah that uh, every day like example in the morning yeah before I'm going to work I'm grabbing one piece and just like a morning snack for me So this is what it looks like. This is the final result. And again, I'm gonna repeat the, all the ingredients and the amount, yeah, how much I use them. So the fruit muesli, yeah. It's 500 grams. I use 500 grams. Peanut butter, 340 grams. Honey, 340 grams. Peanut and uh, extra dry, dry uh, fruit, yeah? It's 150 grams. Dark chocolate, 25 grams. This is all the ingredients. And the final result, the weight of the final result, it's about one kg. So it's a one kilogram yeah, of the energy bar. So that is not bad. So now another question, yeah, it's uh, the shelf life. Yeah. So the shelf life, yeah, it this is look, this is what I'm gonna do. I will explain you what I'm gonna do, yeah. So I will check all the expired date on every single ingredient. Yeah, and then I'm gonna pick that middle date. Yeah, because look, what do you have here? You have a uh, muesli. Yeah, that's a long shelf life. Yeah, you have honey. It's a long shelf life. You have peanut butter. It's a long shelf life. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, dry fruits and nuts. Yeah, it's a long shelf life. Yeah. So I don't think so that it's uh, it will it will expire after like a one week. That no way, no way. Now uh, another question is where to keep. Yeah, it's again, it's a, it's a, it's a you must to think. Yeah, about the, about the, about the ingredients. Yeah, none of these ingredients. Yeah, you need to keep in the fridge, isn't it? Mostly, are you keeping in the fridge? You're not keeping in the fridge. You're just keeping in in one of the, <coughs> one of the cupboards in your kitchen, isn't it? Honey, you you don't need to keep honey in a in the fridge peanut butter dry fruits chocolate so i don't think so that you must to keep these energy bars in the fridge so that was my my second second uh homemade energy bar video yeah full recipe with the, all the ingredients with the, all the amounts yeah and I, I tried to give you as much as possible more information about these energy bars yeah but i will probably repeat myself but i will tell you that my channel is not a cooking channel yes yeah, so i i come up with this idea just because i was i was very curious and i used to spend a lot of money of buying these energy bars from the shop so one day i'm just like i just come up with an idea you know what? i said you know what why not to make my own you and save some money so that's why i done it as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you will like this homemade energy bar video. Yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, also, I would like to thank all my 
my subscribers because our our family our community is growing now i believe uh, i have uh, over uh, 1200 subscribers so wow that is a lot for me and uh, for my channel thank you very much thank you and you all take care i will see you in my next video